Hello, my dearest science nerds and welcome to my channel Let's Chemistry. We are continuing our attempts to synthesize 1,3-benzodioxyl or otherwise 1,2-methylenedioxabenzene from catechol. From the last experiment, we have learned how to improve the procedure. The reactants presented on the table are the same. This time we will use the seventh scale of the procedure, described on the Science Madness Forum by Ephesian. The theory behind the procedure is explained in the previous video and we are not going to lose time on this issue. As you can see, we have assembled the apparatus, using a 250 milliliter 3 neck round bottom flask equipped with a thermometer and large reflux condenser. The flask is submerged to the oil bath. We charge the flask with 14.28 milliliters of dichloromethane and 71.24 milliliters of DMSO. Let's weigh out 15.71 grams of catechol. Now, we are going to powder using the porcelain mortar, 12.14 grams of sodium hydroxide. This time we are not going to hurry and will add a small portion of reactant slowly, from the top of the condenser. The portion of sodium hydroxide goes first, followed by catechol. Liquid has turned emerald green much faster than previously when we used hydroxide granules. Surprisingly, near the end of the addition, an exothermic reaction is starting in the flask. The oil bath temperature is 73 degrees but, in the flask, the temperature has jumped near to 100 degrees Celsius. Last time this process took a much longer time to start, but we have not taken into consideration the scale. We are adding what is left from the reactants. After each addition of the catechol vigorous boiling is observed. In the end, we rinse condenser and funnel down with 3 milliliters of dichloromethane and 20 milliliters of DMSO but still too much catechol is stacked on the walls. We hope the reflux will rinse what has remained. We have been maintaining the reflux at 110 degrees Celsius for two hours. After the reflux, we are going to change the setup to simple distillation. Before changing the setup, we have decided to cool a reaction mixture down and add some water. We are adding 100 milliliters of water. Water addition is causing vigorous boiling like last time. After changing the setup to simple distillation, the distillate starts to come over almost immediately. But the distillation is very slow. As we had promised previously, in this experiment we will use an external steam generator. For the steam generator, we will use the heating mantle and the one liter flask with a broken neck. This journey may be the last for this piece of glassware. The rubber tube from the steam generator is connected to the special glass tube with the ground joint and long nose going down to the reaction mass. Steam is passing through the heated reaction mixture and small droplets of the one, two methylenedioxybenzene are distilled along with water. As soon as a powerful stream of steam is passed through the reaction mixture a milky oily distillate has started to collect in the receiving flask. We are monitoring the consistency of coming droplets meticulously. After collecting approximately 250 milliliters of liquid, no more oil droplets were observed in the fresh portions of the distillate. At this point, we stop the distillation process. We are going to purify the crude product obtained. We place the distillate to the 1 liter separatory funnel and add distilled water to dilute distillate down and ease the separation of the product. We have decided to wash the whole distillate with 30 milliliters 10% sodium hydroxide to destroy side products. After washing water in the funnel turned to dirty brownish color. The formed emulsion separates very slowly. After complete separation, we drain the organic phase and wash it with water. We are draining the organic phase, which represents our product and dries it with anhydrous calcium carbonate. A total of 7.942 grams of relatively pure 1, 2 methylenedioxybenzene is collected. This time yield is not bad at all. Separately, we saved and combined all the water washes and have extracted it with 30 milliliters of DCM twice. We are curious how much product water phase might retain and how this will affect our yield. After drying and evaporation of the DCM, an additional 2 grams of product is obtained. Total yield combined is 9.939 grams of 1, 2 methylenedioxybenzene or otherwise 1, 3 benzodioxyl from the starting 15.71 grams of catechol. Looks like we have succeeded this time and achieved near 69-70% yield. We have added 3A molecular sieves to remove the water traces from the product. 
Next week we'll try the reaction on the larger scale again and we'll post an update. Thanks for watching guys. Thank <laughs> you.